Welcome back to Killer7, where we play as seven assassins trying to prevent the terrorist group Heaven's Miles from taking over the planet. How do we do that? Puzzle solving, lateral thinking, and just shooting a metric ton of cribblers. Okay, so last time we talked to the principal of this school. Got your nose. Boop. And he apparently was going to be president. We don't know exactly who he was, but he was going to be president because... This school decides every single United States president since the inception of our country. Okay. Uh, so, the gymnasium unlocked. Also, interesting thing. We were told that that Garcians, I think, who was it? Was it, uh, it wasn't Travis. I think it was a Hun Yun who who told us that that we would unlock our third eye and, and we found a safe in the school and it did indeed like Garcian sort of bleeding a little bit on his forehead which is pretty interesting I'm not sure what that means hopefully we'll get more from now let's talk to Travis can I ask you straight up why doesn't Harmon fight this conspiracy is Harmon's problem Harmon's linked to the school. I know you can't believe it, but it's the cold, hard truth. If you've got any doubts, go to the gymnasium. But I'm warning you, the truth is too big to even begin to scratch the surface. But Smith, I do believe that if you find the truth, I'm almost sure of it. Because you're on the ground. Mills awaits at the hotel. The final battle is not far off. I'm telling you straight up. This is about it for me. I wish you all the luck. And die like a dog. Then laugh it off. I'll be waiting for you with a grin as wide as the truth. I guess that's it for Travis. Okay, well let's go in. So everybody, everybody's saying their goodbyes. So... All right, let's go. Oh, oh, there's a man hanging there. That's strange. Okay, mystery solved. I finally figured it out. I was killed. Killed by the three-eyed monster. The big man laughed at me. Then I couldn't move. It was just a simple prank. Nothing to get all angry about. I just wanted a little attention. Mother never looked my way. Daddy ignores me. Don't feel sorry for me. I just had to kill somebody. Or I'd die. And it wouldn't end. Until somebody killed me. I, I don't dream anymore. So there's nothing more to say. Thanks for finishing me off. Beware of three eyes. Okay, so, again, I think that Garcian is Amir Parkreiner. And he says, beware of three eyes and the big man. The big man is Garcian. Garcian has been referred to as the big man earlier. Um, interesting. Okay, let's go. So, let's see what we got in here. Control panel. Sure. I mean, I don't know why that was necessary, but okay. <laughs> Okay, opening up, a ton of chairs in a row. Who's this? Oh, is gonna be all over this one. so that's the head of the, the Japanese United UN States party. Will be blown. <laughs> so this is dirty politics. The presidential election is in the hands of the education ministry. 
They manipulate the votes and bring forth political leaders. Who's he? <laughs> Greg Nightmare. He was the chairman of Education Ministry. What is United States? What is the purpose of the president? I'm Japanese. How the hell should I know? Figure it out yourself. There are more <laughs> important things. Shit. I'm like finding out who you are. Well, I, th I think I know who I am. I don't think Garcia knows yet, but I, I think I do. <laughs> the player. <laughs> the old Snorgel. <laughs> I said, I could be wrong, because I'm an idiot. Are those voting machines? Oh, those are voting machines. Okay. I thought they were chairs, but they're voting machines. We're supposed to, I, I assume. Let's see. All right, we've got a diverse set of principles. Oh, it's Garcian. Look, Garcian was principal of school at one point here. Okay. That's not Garcian. I'm sorry, Harmon was principal of the school at some point. Okay. Hey, that guy's got a gun. Is he still alive? Oh, he is. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Let's see. So I, I'm familiar with this. You're supposed to. You're supposed to get him swinging. There, and this this is why I know this, because um, now you shoot him in the crotch. Shoot him in the crotch. There we go. Dropped golden gun. Okay. Dan can't handle this. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, it's not doing anything. Oh, because they don't have any weak spots. And oh man. Well, nuts. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Oh, hold on. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. No, turn around. Turn around. Come on now. Oh, that's what they... Okay, so, okay. So all these characters are going to die. Yep. Yeah, we can't do... It. There's nothing I can do to this. So, okay. <laughs> nope. Can't do anything with that. Okay, so so all these are gonna die. I, I I'm assuming except Garcian, because Garcian. Yep, because Garcian needed to needs to go back to the hotel. <laughs> okay. Yep. I think, I don't think, let's see, can Khan pick up the gun? <laughs> Khan can't handle this. Okay, no, we can't. Yeah, this is not doing anything. Goodbye, Khan. You were a great assassin. I'm going to miss you. Let's see who's left. Oh, the mask. <laughs> Who's the strongest? Might as well go out with a blast. Wow, that didn't do it. Okay. Because now we should have Garcian, I think. Is that the last one? I think so. Yes. Okay, let's pick up the gun. Golden gun revived. Revived? That's interesting. Uh oh, hold on. There. Oh, here he is. Can we take him out? We can. Well, hold on. Where is he? Where is he? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so he's gone too. Great. Now do we do? I guess we go. So there's... Yeah, there's no more Smiths. 
There's no more space, and we don't have the vision ring anymore, so we can't see. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we don't have the vision ring, so we can't see Heaven Smiles anymore. Russell's supposed to go to the forbidden... Okay, back in the trailer house. Now, let's see if we can go into this... Um... Let's see if we can go to this Harmon's room and save. Yes, because I definitely want to save. Uh, yeah, let's, let's save here. I don't know if this is going to be the last save or not. I, I suspect we're getting very, very close to the end since, well, since, since the entire premise. Oh! Okay, let's go. Can we go in here? Can we not? Oh, I, th I know. I think we need to go to the... Um, we need to go to the uh, hotel. Go to the Union Hotel. For some reason. Garcian's trailer house. Suburban Seattle. Yep. Yep, back to Philadelphia. The city center to the Union Hotel. Let's see what we're gonna find out here. So re also remember what remember what um remember the last thing. Buddy battle in the hotel union. Remember the last thing. Assignment number forty two. The final order. Remember the last thing that that um, Awazaru told us that we should recognize those two men that we saw here that was talking to us before. That we should recognize who they are. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so now everybody's gone. Let's see what. Uh, sure, we'll check reception. Bloodstain. Oh, look who that is. That's Hun Yun. The real mask. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, so these are the people. I got it. So we're seeing the people who were killed at the Union Hotel. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I can't even choose a floor. It's just taking me there. Okay. So, are there are there any heaven smiles? I don't know. We'll just hoof it. Oh, it's not even giving me a choice. It's just taking me right there. Okay. Oh, this con. Okay, so I guess Amir Parkreiner killed all of these people and then they turned into the Killer Seven. So then Garcian came and absorbed them. And remember, my, my thought is that Garcian is Amir Parkreiner. Although, this breaks down a little bit because we know for a fact that Dan was killed by Curtis Blackburn and Garcian went to the alley where he was killed. They mentioned this in the game. Because he went to the alley where he was killed and and revived him and that's how Dan became part of Killer Seven. So I mean it's a little inconsistent, but there are there are definite inconsistencies in this plot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I like this game so much I'm just gonna give it a I'll give it a pass. And no heaven smiles at all. Like there's the we just passed a, a Harmon's room right there. Yeah, just empty, no no heaven smiles at all. That's interesting. I wonder why. Well, because Garcin can't see him, for one, but there we go. Yep. Bloodstained bathtub. Is this keyed? I assume. Who is it? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a mask. Yep. Okay, so we're so we're so we're seeing, I suspect, uh, Amir Parkrunner. I think. Yeah, I, I guess we're, we're seeing Amir Parkrunner uh, kill what what became the assassins of Killer Seven. Because I think what we're not going to see is Amir Parkrunner kill Garcian. Because remember, Garcian's a little special. He's not the regular assassin. He's, he's, he's got a different sort of thing. They, they called him earlier in the game. They, um, uh, Johnny Gagnon referred to him as the manager. 
something. He was different than the others. I also think it's interesting, you know, I have, I have this theory that only, like, once they kill, once they kill somebody, the Killer 7 kills somebody, if their remnant psyche is compatible, they become part of the Killer 7. Oh, Keith knows what's going on. She's trying to hide. Obviously, she's going to hide in the, uh, yeah, she's going to hide in the closet thing. And uh, it's not going to work out well for her because we know that we know that she dies, of course. Yeah. So, but it's, so I, I think the reason why I mentioned that about how the Roman Psyche, you know, they do that is remember that they said that they were very cautious about killing Kes Bloody Sunday because they felt like he was such a brutal murderer, even by their standards. And, and, I, and it didn't make sense to me at first, but now I think it does. I think that they were concerned that he might be compatible with becoming one of the assassins of the Killer Seven. And, and they felt like he was, he was such a psychopath that, that it wouldn't be a good, a good fit. All right, so here we go. Going through it. Let's see who's going to be on this floor. Who do we have left? Um, Dan? Is that the only one we have left? We have, we have a couple left, maybe. Oh, oh, this Mills. Did everything get cleaned up? Garcy, I'm glad you're okay. It was the last promise. Anyway, I'll keep the explanation short. Most ballot booths are at schools. The education ministry is in charge of the schools. The results of the election are rigged from the start. Voting is just for show. Before votes are counted, the education ministry does a switcheroo. The biggest magic trick on earth. In other words, the most powerful man in the country is the education secretary. But a Japanese put him out. The dog Big Baddock bit back at his owner. Revenge for being left for dead. This is big trouble. Corrupt officials are at a loss. Country has been revealed for what it is. A monster. But will anything change? You expect some revolution? Well, a dog can't do crap. Has a dying country ever created anything worth its salt? Go and meet them. They're waiting. Above. Trust my words. I won't do you wrong. Hurry, Garcy. Okay, let's see who died here. Is this Dan? I think it is. No, no. Oh, uh. Oh, you can see. Oh, Dan's putting up a fight. Okay, so Dan's. What are we going to do? Oh, it's going to back off? Hmm. Wait for Dan to come around. Oh, I see. Good thing that, oh, oh gonna go out on the ledge. Nice. I'll be honest, I'm not sure I've ever seen a hotel that has a, a shared balcony, <laughs> like with, with no gate or anything. Oh, yep, yeah. Yep, Dan's out. They put up a fight more than the other ones did, though. All right, let's go. We got one more. I think that's all of them. We found out how we found out how all the Killer Seven became part of the Killer Seven, except for Garcia. I have a feeling we're going to find out now. Oh no! Wait, do we have one more to go? I guess. Who, who do we have 
left to go? I don't remember. Oh, uh, the knife guy, Kevin. So, you must be the one they call the Bloody Heartland. You here to kill the Smiths, is that it? Ruler. Oh, that's Coyote, that's right. Don't set your goals too high. What do you want? What do you want, huh? You. Hmm. Coyote put up a fight too. Okay, so we, we so we know now that Garcian is a mere park rider. Well, that's interesting. I don't I don't does he remember that he's a mere park rider? Does he know? I don't know. It seems like it seems like he doesn't, because people keep keep saying you need to figure out who you are. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and save. I don't know what's coming up. I don't know if it's a boss fight or. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. There's Mills again. Why the glum face? What happened? Garcy, don't cry. They, they didn't like you. The last thing I want to see is you crying, Garcy. It just don't feel right. I see... I realized it after I was killed. I can see through your mask, into your heart. Garcy, what's this emotion? I now see. Tears of sadness? Of hate? Of joy? Loneliness? Or mercy? I really have no idea. Except I've never seen tears like those. The only way to wipe those tears away is to overcome the past. A person doesn't get into this. Through this line of work, without a complicated past. Enter the final room. Meet with him. Then you can get on with things. Times are tough for both of us. I'll be waiting. In my new, sl in my new sleek on the side. Okay. Thanks, Mills. Let's go. Let's see who the two men are that we're supposed to meet. Naturally, I found myself being led to this place. Long journey, but it ends here, Garcian. Wait. No, I think it's time I called you by your real name. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Amir Parkreiner. Amir? Allow me to Do introduce it. myself. My name's Harmon Smith. I knew it! The man you saw yep. In your past. But he's young. Do you remember the incident where six people were murdered in this hotel? You must have seen it yourself. Because you were the killer. Yeah. The assassin, Amir Parkreiner, was the ace of aces. Who would have thought the killer? Oh, the guy on the right is, is young. It's um, 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 the other guy, I think, in the green suit. A deliberate crime. Targeted toward the Smith Alliance. It consisted of seven members, but the leader wasn't included in the seven. Later investigations found his dead body inside a safe of a school. Oh, that's one of the safe. Investigative unit called them the Killer Seven. But the whole affair was never made public. Not because this was an aberration from society, but because it involved national security issues. Unfortunately, a curse brought upon you by old tradition. You, Amir, are an assassin controlled by the government. Someone is watching your every move. From the second when I first took you in on the roof. You are one of the very few assassins with class. But you were out of control. Still, there was something venerable about you. Then it occurred to me, you were no longer a mortal being. What? Within you, ever so quietly, evil had opened its eyes. I mean, they am an assassin. 
Okay, so so this this goes along with my general theory that that um, Harmon and his buddy in the green suit are um, that they are oh go to the roof that they are supernatural beings they're living sort of outside of time. Uh, what's in the hallway? Harmon's room. Oh, the Forbidden Room. We're supposed to go into the Forbidden Room. Okay. What took you so long? Nice view, isn't it? It's different. Time here is warped. To finish this game peacefully is my last wish. Guess that won't happen. We've been interrupted again. Has another come to surface? Hmm. A sight for sore eyes. Haven't seen you around for a long time. Hmm. Come in. Please. Wow. Okay, so that's interesting. So he so he quote unquote kills them. I think maybe they can't die. But but um so he kills them. And uh that's okay, oh and I can't do anything else. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. And now, now, are we going to meet Amir Parkreiner? I mean, though we are. Are we going to meet him on the roof, I think? Yes, we are. Okay. Bye. Nope. Oh, okay. Yep. Close up the third eye. Oh, he killed himself. Amir Parkrunner killed himself. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Got it. So he couldn't live with what he'd become. He killed himself. And then Harmon gave him life again as part of the Killer 7. No, it wasn't me. It, it can't be. It's all a misunderstanding. Oh. Oh, that's what he shot him with. He's got all those guns. I was wondering, because Garcia doesn't carry that, carry that kind of gun. Oh, yeah. Wow, wait, is that the end? Surely not. We're not going to find out more? <laughs> Doug on it. <laughs> what the splurp? So here's, here's my thoughts on this. I think that, um, I mean, I hopefully we'll get more gameplay. Um, I think that Kunlan and Harmon Smith are supernatural beings. And I think they somehow sort of, sort of, the reason they're able to live like supernatural beings is because of the souls. When they, when they kill people, they sort of slurp up their souls. I hope we're gonna get a post, some post credits uh, exposition. They have a little bit more, probably not. But <laughs> um, wow. So anyway, let, let me let me extra, expound on that a little bit. So I, I believe that that the Killer Seven, that Harmon Smith and, and Kudlon are supernatural beings. They mentioned they when they had talks, they mentioned several times sort of time. And I wonder if they don't live kind of outside of time, you know. Um, they, I mean, they clearly do, because we, we saw them as younger, we saw them as older, we saw them in the Forbidden Room, and that I think that when when Harmon Smith killed somebody, they became, if they had the right sort of, um, uh, what's the right word, the right sort of remnant soul that was compatible, they could become part of one of Harmon's, Harmon's personalities. That's why I mentioned that with, with Cast Bloody Sunday. And the ones that didn't, all became the remnant souls that we saw in the in the thing. Now, now the thing that's interesting is, as far as quote unquote remnant souls, um, Awaziru was different because he could. He was the only one that mentioned 
interacting with people outside of the Killer 7. No, none of the other Remnant Souls could. Oh, Windows Conversion Staff, very nice. So none of the other Remnant Souls could. And so I think that, that yeah, I'll be a little bit of backstory because we still need to, so but there must be more gameplay or, or some kind of story coming up because um, we haven't had any conclusion with um, the Japanese head of the UN party. So, okay, so so let, let's try to see if we can piece this together. Garcian, as Amir Parkrider, is an assassin and kills those six people that eventually be end, up, be end, end up becoming the Killer Seven. It's squirrely with Dan, because they mentioned two ways Dan sort of became part of the Killer Seven. <laughs> so, you know, that's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> um, when they became part of the Killer Seven, then they became absorbed into Harmon Smith. Uh, even though they were individuals with separate bodies, they were still, that's how they became part of the Killer Seven. Now, now how the final, um, how the final, uh, what's it called? Um, um, Heaven Smiles was able to sort of, I don't, I don't quite understand how the final Heaven Smiles were able to exist sort of different than the other Heaven Smiles, but they did sort of mention that this was the ultimate Heaven Smile. Um, it looks like the golden gun can kill them. Smile complete. Okay, so so hopefully there's more to play here. Are they going to have me save? Exterminated Heaven Smiles. <laughs> nice. That wonderful smile is gone for eternity. The end. Is it? Oh yes, I do. Well, I'll save. Probably not. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's the end. Let's let's save. Yeah. Save successful. Oh, looks on the right. See, we have all these. There's Kunlan. There are the two uh, older Japanese UN party members. This Audrey Almeida. Chris Blackburn. Uh. Shoot, I forgot what they were called. Oh, the handsome men. Target smile. Yeah, that's interesting. So we don't we don't really see because we didn't really have a target for that one. But let's see what Lion offers us. Yeah. Oh, shooting the flag. Yeah, the moon's still the right color. Interesting. Okay. Battleship Island. Do we know? They mentioned that before, and I don't remember what it was. The destruction of Battleship Island in the North Pacific. Assignment. Oh, assignment number 43. Showdown. Is this, um, uh, is this just, it must be just Garcian. Three years later. Oh, hey, that's the car from, from the Andrew Omeda chapter. Garcian got it. Okay, oh. Oh, green eyes. Oh, that's a nice look. Hold on. I can't see. Okay, that's fine. No, we can't, yeah, we can't do anything, so. Hold on. Nope. Well, we'll go. <laughs> Keep going. Oh man. Okay, well, definitely. There's another one. Oh, there's one for us. Go, 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 go. <laughs> See if we can just avoid them <laughs> altogether. <laughs> Deserted building. All right, I guess we know where we're going. That's a nice look, though. Very sharp. Kind of a kind of a dark, dark maroon suit and the and the sort of green glowing eyes. That's very nice. Uh, Garcia's a Sharp looking man, sharp looking assassin. Okay. Can we heal? 
We cannot. That's what I thought. All right, so I have to be a little bit careful. But I think sort of trying to avoid, <laughs> trying to avoid, uh, okay, courtyard. All right, let's go. Let's go. I don't know where we're going, but. <laughs> Oh, well, let's go. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Keep going. We're almost dead, but let's see if we can make it. <laughs> Come on. Just we're just going to try to outrun them. It's too, it's too hard to, to do this. Okay. Oh, the Coliseum! <gasps> Oh, this is, okay, so, oh, this is the actual physical location of where the Viniculum Gate took us. Okay. Boy, we're almost dead, too. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can go in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go. Down we go. Where we're we going, I don't know. The only really thing we need to wrap up is the, is the, um, the guy who was head of the UN party for the Japanese government. Let's see. Okay, running along here. Not much to see. Not much to do either. Just pretty much straight running. Oh, there he is! You boys are almost done. You don't need to go around killing everybody anymore. The last of the heaven smiles is in the back. Oh. The big boss. If you do him, then it means you've eradicated all of them. No more terrorism. <laughs> Hail to the free world. Hmm. But I wonder, what'll become of you guys if terrorism is the law of nature? You know, you should kill me now, because you don't want us hanging around. Know what I mean? If I'm alive, I'll give you a run for your money. Even an assassin like yourself. Better be prepared. Because blood must atone for blood. So, which will you choose? Your own country? Or watch our retribution? Your fucking decision. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, okay, so I... You know what? I feel like Japan was really given a raw deal in this whole thing. Like, I feel like the countries of the world is like, Japan, meh, we'll let them we'll get nuked because then we can sort of snarfle up some of their um, natural resources. So let, let's let him live and let Japan get even. Dozo. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, it's Harmon, and he's wearing one of those green coats. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, TV. Oh, there's nothing. Just absolutely nothing on the TV. That's interesting. Okay. Go to the hallway. Oh, the, the, the basement of a trailer. <laughs> All right. Wait, is that a Wazaru? A Wazaru? Are you, a Wazaru is the last heaven smile? It is a Wazaru. Wazaru, get back here. Come on, Wazaru, what are you doing? I mean, Wazaru knows, knows what's up, but... Oh, that's very strange. Why was I having a smile? Huh. Holy crap! A wazoo was coming along the whole time? Oh my sclarb! I don't understand. <laughs> Why? Wow. I think that's going to be Japanese ships, I think. 
Those would be Japanese fighter jets. Yeah, I really did feel like Japanese got a raw deal. Japan got a raw deal on this whole thing. Big time. Retribution definite in the year 2014. The Yuan United Forces launched a full-scale attack against the United States. Killer 7. Oh. Yep. So, okay, so... That's very interesting. I mean, they, they showed... Because of Kunlan and... So Kunlan and um, uh, his friend, whose name occasionally, <laughs> oh, Kunlan and Harmon Smith were were both killed. I guess again, I I, I find it a little bit weird because I thought they were sort of setting them up to be supernatural creatures that sort of fed off the souls of the people that died. Um, so so then people got slurped up into Killer Seven. If you were right, and then they would go, and we would go around and kill people, and then occasionally slurp up other souls. And I don't think we actually actually did that. We saw Gar, we saw Garcian uh, collect a body that was not one of the Killer Seven. Remember, right before we went to Curtis Blackburn's house, they saw a dead child, and Garden Garcian put the child into his into his um, case. Now. That child never came back as a as a remnant soul, but I think that, that was a I think that I think that was in there specifically for a reason to to sort of hint at what happened here, so that ones that were were capable of of, of becoming part of the Killer Seven than would. Is it going to be more? I don't know. Oh, Shanghai, one hundred years later. I I knew it. We're, we're gonna see. We're gonna see Armin Smith and Kudlan. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, I'm controlling this. Oh, it's the same thing. It's gonna be the exact same thing for the end of the first chapter. Oops. Hold on. Yep. Exact same thing as the end of the first chapter. Yep, and the whole thing starts over again. You're awake from your nightmare. Harmon, the world won't change. All it does is turn. Now, let's dance. <laughs> and they start their game all over again. Written, designed, and directed by Suda51. The end? Uh, it is the end. We know that there was not a, uh, a follow-up to this. <laughs> there was not an because this game did not do particularly well. Oh, thank you for having me play it. This game did not do particularly well. It's just, it's just too weird. It did not get a lot of critical success, but it became uh, a cult favorite, and you can see why. This, you know, it's really crazy to me that this game held up so well after, uh, oh yeah, sure. I don't know why I'm saving here either. That's weird. But it's interesting to me this game held up so well for so long. Like, how many games can you think of that were made in 2015 that you can play now? Sorry, 2005 that you can play right now and it looks great and the gameplay is good. And again, I think part of the reason is this gameplay is so flippin' weird. It's hard to explain how deeply weird it is. Oh, it's a different color. How deeply weird it is to play, to, to, to get used to the controls of this game. It's unlike any other game that i played. It's very strange. It's on rails, but it's on weird rails. Killer 7. Oh, Killer 8. Oh, that's what people said. Okay, so, so people had mentioned that if you finish playing through Killer 7, that you can play as Harmon Smith. Harmon Smith, throughout the entire game, he's one of the Killer 7 that you can actually play as. What an absolutely enjoyable game. I, I, I really, really love this game so much. It, it did such a good job of creating a level of tension that's 
really hard to achieve when you're playing a game. I mean, and it, and it pretty much kept it throughout. I think the level of tension was much higher at the beginning of the game before we had the stamina ring, because one or two hits and you were gone. But I don't think I played a game that did such a good job of keeping up that level of sort of stress and tension. It's really, really, really marvelous. What an absolutely great game. I'm so glad I played it. I'm going to say that this game is up there. I don't think it's quite as good as Deadly Premonition, just in my mind. In some ways, the story is much better. Um, but Deadly Premonition was just really hit home to me in a lot of meaningful ways. But I, this is up there. If it's not tied with Deadly Premonition, it's a very close second. Anyway, thanks for watching this entire playthrough of Killer7. Coming up, something brand new. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time for something new. See you then.